Lokasabha MP Gaurav Gogoi has given an adjournment in the lower house of the parliament to discuss the security breach. He also reacted to the incident. Uh, quickly listen in. The gambhir hai kyunki aaj humne dekha ki gas choda gaya. Ye ye gas chemical gas ho sakta tha. Unke hato me kuch nokila cheez ho sakti thi, jisse ki logo ko wo ghav pocha sakte the. हमारे पार्लियामेंट के अंदर और विजिटर्स गैलरी में बहुत से हमारे देश के नागरिक हैं देश के जनप्रतिनिधि हैं महिला जनप्रतिनिधि हैं ज्येष्ठ नागरिक हैं किसी को सक, बहुत से लोग अभी भी सांसद और लोग सगमे में हैं उनको समझ नहीं आ रहा कि कैसे हुआ क्यों हुआ और इस सभी के बीच में हमने देखा कि लगभग बीस पच्चीस मिनट सांसदों ने और चैम्बर के स्टाफ जो वास्तविक में सुरक्षाकर्मी नहीं हैं उन्होंने अपने जान पे खेलकर उन्होंने उन दो युवाओं को पकड़ा लड़ा झगड़ा किया और दबोच के रखा बहुत ही गंभीर है All right, there seems to be some connectivity issue on my colleague Akshit Gupta's end. Uh, meanwhile, we're also being joined by Colonel G.S. Sodhi. He's a defense expert. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining us on NewsX. Now, since, since yesterday, what has happened is, first we thought there were two people involved, the ones that we saw inside uh, the Lok Sabha. Then suddenly we realized that there were four people involved in this. After that, now we're given to understand that there are six people involved in it, and this is the number that we are tracking as of now. We still don't know what is to be unraveled in this case. Uh, we're also, in fact, being given to understand that these people were, in fact, conversing with one another through, through social media on this group called the Bhagat Singh Fan Club, out of all the things. You know, and, and it's absolutely shameless to see what, what has, in fact, transpired since yesterday. Uh, so, what do you make of this? Jayan Dasavri, it's my honor to be on a news channel. Well, it is indeed a very, very serious security breach that these people could enter right up to the sanctum sectorum of the Indian democracy, that is the Indian parliament and that to Lok Sabha. And the, uh, the, uh, the openness with which they could carry out this attack or this intrusion clearly shows that our security system in the Indian parliament has failed very miserably. Though the Home Ministry has been very quick to have ordered a high-level court of inquiry under the uh, Director General of the CRPF, but Asabi, the point is that uh, we have seen before also whether it was the Pulwama terrorist attack, whether it was the 26-11 terrorist attack or other attacks. Inquiries are held, but no security personnel is taken to task. I would like to tell you that, that in the Indian Army, if there's any breach which is found, officers' careers are finished. So I think it is time that you should get in the accountability factor very high in the security agencies, in the security personnel who are deployed on such sensitive duties. Because if this is what is happening in the Indian parliament, it is natural that the common Indian citizen will think what can happen to him or, or, or her in case these people can reach uh, the most guarded, the most secure, the most safest place in, in our country. So it is indeed a matter of great shame that this thing has happened, uh, though the uh, uh, though the uh, actions have been taken up pretty quick, my uh, my applause to the security person who uh, jumped in and to ensure that no that this situation did not escalate. But we should not let this situation this thing die down here. Whatever inquiry findings are there should be put in the public domain. The punishment given to the lack security person should be put in the public domain so that the message goes loud and clear. Right, so absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, stay on with us. We're also, in fact, being joined by Colonel Shadan Singh on the broadcast. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you so much for joining us on NewsX. Now, of course, uh, with, with this in focus, uh, what is in fact in question is the security that has, in fact, um, the, 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 the plan of action and as far as the security is concerned. We were, in fact, also talking about the process of entry inside the Lok Sabha and uh, all you require is uh, a visitor. Of course, you have to be a, a member can apply for visitor's card only for those who are well known to the person. But apart from that, what you do in fact require is, is a photograph, um, a bit of identification. And if you want to in fact enter the speaker's gallery, then you require the speaker's approval. 
but of course um, this we've we've been completely caught off guard with what's just happened and things could have been far worse so we're lucky that nothing bad took place nothing severe took place but uh, you know what what should be done what steps should be implemented so that we never see a day like this you see these these people who has broken into parliament have used something which was not imagined by anybody they were not of a doubtful character they were not having criminal background so this is something uh, innocently they have done it and the mode of apprentices which they have used that shoes etc which they have used for carrying the explosive inside which was not even imagined by security agencies whatsoever laid down norms and traditions are there for security agencies they have been all followed but they have used something new which had given a lesson to all security agencies to now check all the boots and shoes also of the visitors and other parts of the body so this is something new and they have they have surprised the security agencies by using this method so this was something uh, which was not imagined and uh, in, in this type of attacks and this type of uh, activities only surprise matter they have surprised uh, the security agencies so they have uh, they could create this kind of scene there so there is not i i don't find that any security lapse was there only thing is that they have used something new hmm. new uh, tactics they have used by which they have they have surprised and deceived the security agencies hmm. so now we got to more more vigilant and the whatsoever sop they have got they have to be amended and thoroughly they have to be checking to all visitors and now uh, the, the uh, before visiting parliament the background should also be checked in future so a person who is visiting the uh, parliament this should not have such kind of controversial background like uh, this girl is having that she was from a uh, market area right so absolutely but, uh, but do you think uh, there's there's uh, with the, with the way things are unraveling do you think there's more to the picture i mean now we've been given to understand that there was this um, a group called the bhagat singh um, uh, the bhagat singh fan club and uh, and there are all sorts of details that are now being unraveled so do you think there's a bigger nexus that was operating yes actually what uh, as i told you they they have they are using to surprise the people and uh, bhagat singh's name they are defaming but bhagat singh aim was not to uh, sort of a sort of a sensitize the country and sort of a defame the country uh, bhagat singh was a patriot and that these people are of a different motive and they are being controlled by some outside agencies to show to the world that india is such a disturbed country where in parliament the people are raising voice right so sir. this is this mm -hmm. is a bigger uh, controversy a sort of bigger bigger sort of a, a, a i can say that sort of a bigger uh, 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 the, the planning they have done and this should be investigated thoroughly so that the complete picture comes out to the nation for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon